rush our car bombing on a Kurdish military convoy in the capital. The group made reference to military operations against Kurdish rebels in southeast Turkey that threatened more attacks. Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe approved on Friday new sanctions against North Korea in response to its rocket launch and forced nuclear test. The steps included the ban on entry of all North Korean registered ships into Japan and a third country ships from entering Japan after regular ports in North Korea. On Saturday, North Korea fired several artillery rounds into the sea near a disputed maritime border with South Korea. The firing took place a few days after Seoul announced that early next month, South Korea and the U.S. will begin an aerial military maneuver on a large scale. The Pentagon has said U.S. warplanes have carried out air strikes targeting fighters allied to its IS in Libya, killing dozens of people, possibly including a senior leader of the armed group. Peter Cook, Pentagon spokesman, said in a press conference that the operation was carried out in Libya to prevent IS from carrying out external attacks against U.S. and Western interests. Cook said the attack was in Sabrasa near the border with Tunisia aimed at killing Nuruddin Kochan, also known as Sabir, a Tunisian accused of helping to organize two attacks on tourists last year. The operation also hit an IS training camp. And now to the news headlines once again. The advisory council for administrative procedure reform convenes a plenary session. The Lim Festival opens in Bakhmin province, attracting thousands of visitors. And UK's Cameron wins deal for special status in EU. That has been news. <laughs> to BOV and here comes a satellite report. Covering an area of 5.5 square kilometers, Chen Island is located to the northeast of Koto Island in Guangning province. Although living conditions were hard, soldiers and islanders are doing their best to develop the island. It is about two hours by boat from Kairong Port in Vendon district to Chen Island. In the spring morning sunlight, the island is the deep blue of trees and the sea. Around of 17 solid houses was nearly 680,000 US dollars. It's a gift from the Dombak Corporation has presented to the people of that island. Chanti Lam, an islander, says almost all the households there are young families from multiple provinces looking to make their fortune from the island and wanting to share responsibility for Vietnam's maritime sovereignty, Lam says. When we settled on the island, we thought to do our utmost to enrich ourselves in the island. Most of us are involved in aquaculture, and we are trying to buy vessels to do offshore fishing with the hope of making a net act for our children. We are self-confident and strongly believe that we can make the island more prosperous and actively participate in safeguarding the national sea and islands. In addition to improving islanders' living standards, Guangling province has built infrastructure, certified production industries, and created specific policies to help local residents stabilize their lives. Fishermen can obtain subsidized loans to repair fishing boats, buy fishing equipment, and pay for logistic services. Islanders are being provided with medical insurance costs. Today on Chen Island, there is the laughter and chatter of children who go to school together every morning. There are two classes for ten preschool children and five primary school students. Teacher Huang Tiyun says she has chosen Chen Island as a place to settle down because she wants to bring education and literacy to the children of this remote, disadvantaged island. 
nói thật ra đến giờ phút này thì bản thân tôi thì rất là tự hào vì tôi được công tác trên đảo. I feel proud to work on Shen Island. I want to do something to make the place more prosperous, beautiful and civilized. Though there remain many difficulties, the current infrastructure is quite okay for both teachers and students. Like other islands far from the mainland, Shen Island faces severe weather conditions and scarcity of fresh water. But with the help of the soldiers stationed on the island, three water reservoirs have been built to provide fresh water to every household. During this time, Chairman of Proto Electric People's Committee says more and more fishermen have moved to Chen Island. According to Tang, a fishing port where up to 300 boats can enter and a center for fishing logistics services will be built, and tourism links between Koto and Chen Island will be promoted. We will mobilize financial resources from various figures for the development of Chen Island. We need to create a technical infrastructure. We will try to turn the island into a magnet for fishing boats of the province and then other localities. Develop Chen Island's economy and defend Vietnam's sea and islands. We review major events in Vietnam during the week. President Chiang Tan Shan received a delegation from Japan's Gun Prefecture, led by Governor Osawa Masaki in Hanoi this week. President Chiang said Vietnam will create the best possible conditions for enterprises from Japan's Gun Prefecture to invest in Vietnam. President Chiang expressed thanks to Gun Prefecture for supporting around 3,000 Vietnamese workers who are working there. The president expressed his hope that Vietnam and Burma Prefecture will cooperate further, especially after the Trans-Pacific Partnership Agreement was signed. He said the visit has fostered bilateral ties, especially in economics. The 13th National Assembly Standing Committee convened its 45th session in Hanoi on Wednesday. National Assembly Chairman Nguyễn Sinh Hùng said this session will review activities of the National Assembly, the government, the president and the legislative agencies. High on the agenda are discussions about orientations, tasks and measures to boost social economic development, external affairs and national defense activities in the next five years, and preparations for the upcoming elections of the deputies for the National Assembly and People's Councils. National Assembly Chairman Nguyễn Sinh Hùng said, Tôi mong rằng là các đồng chí các ủy ban thường vụ quốc hội với tinh thần trách nhiệm cao của mình với quyết tâm để tiếp tục đạt nên được sự thành công của chúng ta. Tôi mong rằng là các đồng chí các ủy ban thường vụ quốc hội với tinh thần trách nhiệm cao của mình với quyết tâm để tiếp tục đạt nên được sự thành công của chúng ta. Tôi mong rằng là các đồng chí các ủy ban thường vụ quốc hội với tinh thần trách nhiệm cao của mình với quyết tâm để tiếp tục đạt nên được sự thành công của chúng ta. Tôi mong rằng là các đồng chí các ủy ban thường vụ quốc hội với tinh thần trách nhiệm cao của mình với quyết tâm để tiếp tục đạt nên được sự thành công của chúng ta. Tôi mong rằng là các đồng chí các ủy ban thường vụ quốc hội với tinh thần trách nhiệm cao của mình với quyết tâm để tiếp tục đạt nên được sự thành công của chúng ta. Tôi mong rằng là các đồng chí các ủy ban thường vụ quốc hội với tinh thần trách nhiệm cao của mình với quyết tâm để tiếp tục đạt nên được sự thành công của chúng ta. In its address, Deputy Prime Minister Wilson Fook praised efforts to ensure a happy and safe state for the Vietnamese people. He asked ministries and secretaries to work on their own plans to realize the target growth rate of 6.5% this year, as well as the target set at the 12th National Party Congress. The first consultative meeting on the number of candidates nominated by central agencies for the 14th National Assembly election took place in various cities and provinces this week. At a meeting in Hanoi, President of the Vietnam Sutherland Front and Vice President of the National Electoral Council, Nguyễn Thiện Nhân, said the May 22nd election is an important political event and an important task in 2016.